Hi guys, welcome to part two of the evolution of our guns. Back in the day, pre-rail barrels, we used to make an aluminium tubed gun that was fairly heavy. The thought at the time was, let's lighten it by going to carbon. So I went to a carbon fishing rod manufacturer and asked him to, to make me an exact replica of the aluminium we were using, knowing that it would be a lot lighter. This worked out great, and we sold many of these at first. One day when I went to collect my barrels, he had said he made a mistake and he used the wrong mandrel. Instead of using the old one inch 25.45 millimeter mandrel to wrap it on, he'd used a 26 millimeter. Now that's 0.6 of a millimeter. You can barely see the difference. So I said, well, I don't see there being any problem with this. Took these home and made myself a gun, got on the water, one of each. Back in the day, we often dived with two guns. Now I had one which was 25.4 ID and one of 26 mil ID. Both those felt exactly the same, except when I got on the water. It was an absolute amazing experience to feel the difference. They looked identical, but this one was so much lighter, the one with the greater internal volume. The penny then dropped that to make a lighter gun, you don't need to change materials. All you got to do is increase the diameter. At that stage, I was already looking at this whole choice of setting up a rail. The advantage of the rail, supporting the spear in the middle, not having to have so much spear sticking out the front. This was, to me, the direction we needed to go. Also, the stroke ratio now to spear length would be better, give us better propulsion. There's no sag in the middle. It's going to slide out perfectly straight. But obviously, this has added mass. And to get the strength of this tube equal to that of carbon, I had to increase the diameter ever so slightly. I did my mass and I worked out we only needed to increase it to 26.45 to make that gun feel exactly the same as that of a carbon. That's how we came out with this original dimensions. And we still today work on exactly the same dimensions for our alien. Unfortunately, people still wanted carbon. So we then went to the trouble of making a DA to make our carbon in-house exactly the same dimension. That makes it very light. The advantage of that is we can now add lead in the muzzle end to prevent muzzle kick. So that's how we've ended up with the dimensions we have and what we've been sticking with now for 35 years. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.